Thibaut Dumont and Daniel Soul. Daniel Soul. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so you both are film directors for Holly Short. Uh, sorry, film founders. festival founders. Oh, yeah. This is the 19th annual. 19. Wonderful. What what can our audience take away from this film festival? Mm, I think it's the best short films from all over the world. There's not a lot of festivals that are short film only. We're one of them, and we're blessed to be Oscar qualifying. So this year we have a fourth Oscar qualifying category, documentary. So you get a little bit of everything. Live action, documentary, animation, um, web series, music videos. It's just a real, it's a celebration of independent short films. And it's the 19th one, and we're just honored to just be back. 6,000 submissions. We show about 420 in 10 days. 11 One. days. It's a, it's a short film party this week, or ten, 11 days, so a little more than a week, almost two weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great event with uh, this, the best short films from all over the world. These are films you will see here. Some of them will go on to win Oscars. That's basically our sort of our, our sort of a calling card, and we're very excited to showcase these films that are gonna go on and go really far in the award season, and just really amazing short films from all over the globe. So to bring them here to Hollywood is, is really uh, exciting for us. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, a wonderful wonderful, wonderful fest. We're excited. It's exciting for all of us. Where can our audience find both of you on social media and can you spell it all out for us? Absolutely. So at, at Holly Shorts everywhere. X, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and then there's, there's an app, the Holly Shorts Film Festival app in all the stores. And then I'm, I'm Theo Dumont and his and Instagram. Daniel Soul and then my personal Instagram is just Daniel Soul 22 but uh, yeah, for, focus on the Holly Shorts stuff. So all we keep it simple. Holly Shorts everything. At Holly Shorts, Instagram, at Twitter is at Holly Shorts. Our Facebook is at Holly Shorts. Or what's the new What's the new app that I don't even know the name of it? X and Threads. Uh, the threads. 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 Yeah, Threads. We're on there at Holly Shorts also. So everything's at Holly Shorts. Keep it simple. You want to find us on social? That's where to go. Also, I will say one more thing. Um, we love major film events. You guys have supported us for a long time, years, and um, we're thankful to have you here. And uh, let's hear some more. Thank you both. Thank you, Theo. Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate you. Likewise. Likewise. Appreciate you. Thank you. Robin, can you tell us the name of your film and who this character is? This is Ashley. She's our lead character in our film, Pivot. Um, Pivot is about her journey to self-expression despite her mother's desires to be her, for her to be someone that she's not. And you wrote this film. I did write this film. It's actually inspired by a true story of my childhood friend in um, this battle. Her mom constantly wanted her to wear these horrid dresses for every single picture day. Um, and she would hate it, scream, cry. And she's definitely not a dress person still. Where, um, where can we find you on social media? Can you spell it all out for us? And also, the time of the showing of your film. My film is at 2 o'clock on Monday. Um, you can find us on social media, on Instagram at pivot underscore animated underscore short, and on TikTok at the same name. Also, my Instagram is Robin underscore Campbell one. Thank you. We can't wait to see it. All right, tell us your names and um, the film you're representing. Beautiful. Lily Bernal Pino. And I'm Danny Pino, and we're representing Union de Reyes. When is your film showing? Uh, Thursday at 2.30, uh, August 17th. Can you give us a brief sentence about what is the film about? Uh, the film is about uh, when a father suffers a heart attack, uh, the son is, um, he has to bear his father's greatest secrets. Wonderful. Where can we find you on social media and can you spell it all out for us? Hello. Uh, I'm, social media would be your answer because you're, oh, really? you're a, more of a presence on social media. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Lily. Um, on Instagram, it's El Danny Pino. And uh, on Twitter, it's The Danny Pino. And I think Lily has a public account, too. So I have a Lily Pino public on Twitter. She also has a very private account, but we can't give that to you. We're not going to give that out. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. What film are you representing tonight? I'm the writer, director, producer of Swipe NYC. Swipe NYC. Can you give us a brief synopsis, um, summarize, what is the film about? The film is about a woman who is 50, gets left, is divorced, and is a single mom and has to figure out how to put the pieces of her life back together. And she jumps into the crazy world of online dating, and every date becomes a metaphor for her picking up the pieces of her life again. 
sounds like an inspirational story. It's my story. It's my story. <laughs> yeah. Even if Lisa Edelstein plays my alter ego. <laughs> Wonderful. Where can um, one, when is it, what, what time is it showing? It is showing tonight and in, in the premiere slot at 7.30 this evening, opening night. Excellent. And where can we find you and the film on social media? Swipe.nyc is social media. That's Instagram. And that tells you about all the film festivals that we're at. We've just won three. Uh, thank you. This is, yeah. So uh, it's been an amazing just, we just started and we've won three. So we're just pretty thrilled so far. Hi, and I'm here with Lisa Edelstein. Yes. Now, female. can you tell us your connection to this film, Swipe NYC? Uh, well, uh, I'm the star of Swipe NYC. Uh, I think Sue probably just blabbed all about it and told you everything. Uh, and I'm also in another movie called Shadow Brother Sunday, which is in the same cluster that Alden Ehrenreich directed. Very exciting. They're actually showing together, so. Wow. I know. It'll be a Lisa Edelstein Film Fest. That's wonderful. Yeah. Where can we find you on social media, and can you spell everything out for us? At Lisa Edelstein, L-I-S-A-E-D-E-L-S-T-E-I-N. Thank you. Thank you. Name of your film? Cita Sempre. And if you could give me, like, a brief sentence of what is this film about? I would say it's about female independence and it's about love between a mother and a daughter and claiming that independence without feeling guilty for following your dreams and chasing what you're passionate about. So wonderful. See that, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. When is the film showing? What time? What day? Uh, tonight at 7 p.m. If I'm not mistaken. 7:30. Yeah, 7:30. Yeah, and tell us um, what parts you played. So I'm the producer. Okay. I'm the director. I'm the writer. Excellent. Where can we find you all on social media? And can you spell it all out for us? I'm going to start with you. Oh, um, Instagram um, at Megan Plunkett, a, uh, at M E G H A N N P L U N K E T T. Oh, God, do you have a minute? Yeah. Uh, it's both the same, Twitter and Instagram. It's at Spampi Stefania, which is S-P-A-M-P-I-S-T-E-F-A-N-I-A. Woo! I won't spell mine because it's too long, but it's very simple. It's my first name, last name on all social media. Isabella Mastro di Casa. And my company is Never Settle Media. You can find it on Instagram and TikTok as well. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate you. Oh, hey, Tiger. So your film, Death and Ramen, is that the title? Okay. Can you give us a brief, just what is the film about? It's a dark buddy comedy starring Bobby Lee and Matt Jones about a ramen chef's final evening alive where he unintentionally goes on a late night odyssey with, a, with the Grim Reaper himself. And what are you most excited about, the number one thing that you're most excited about when it comes to this film festival tonight? You know, just meeting cool people, meeting other filmmakers, and I uh, hope the film speaks for itself. And, uh, you know, I don't want to speak too much about, like, you know, my intention of, like, how the audience should perceive it. And I, I definitely believe in, like, things speaking for themselves, you know. And lastly, where can our audience find you on social media, and can you spell it all out for us? Sure. Yeah. Uh, we're on Instagram, uh, Death and Ramen Film. Uh, I also have an Instagram, Tiger G Films. That's T-I-G-R-J-I Films. Thank you so much, Tiger. Now, Sabina, you're the writer and director, and what's the name of the film? The film is called Sevap Mitzvah. What's the film about? It is a true story about a Bosnian Muslim woman who risks everything in World War II Bosnia that is under Nazi occupation to save her Jewish friends, and then 50 years later, they return a favor. What was your favorite part about writing and directing this film, your number one favorite thing? Huh, number one favorite thing would be the message that it sends out, which is that even in the times of evil prevailing in a world, we can still remember the goodness that is in all of us, in our humanity, and I really want 
people to believe in that once they see the film. Wonderful. Lastly, where can our audience find you on social media and can you spell it all out for us? Ah, yes. Okay, so the film's social media handles are at Sevap, which is S E V A P dot mitzvah dot film. And uh, my social media is at Sabina Loves Trees, because I love trees. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much, Sabina. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, Tommy, can you tell us um, what film are you? representing tonight? Uh, new Shoes. And what is New Shoes about? Uh, new Shoes is a drama that is about a young boy who lives with his mother who is a sex worker and a drug addict. And uh, it's based on a true story of something that happened to me when I was a kid where uh, there was a, an issue where she wanted to spend money uh, on drugs rather than his shoes for school. And it just captures this moment in time that actually took place. And um, and that's uh, about all I want to say about it without giving too much away. But um, I didn't really want to make it as uh, uh, as my next film moving forward. But I was convinced after I told a couple people the story, they were adamant that I should. And they convinced me to do it. And I'm, uh, I'm kind of grateful I did now, you know. That sounds fascinating. Where can our audience find you on social media? And please spell it all out for us. Sure. It's uh, Tommy Kane. And Tommy is spelled with a T-H-O-M-M-Y because I'm fancy like that. Uh, and uh, last name is K-A-N-E. And if you look me up anywhere on the Internet, you'll find me under that name. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And the name of the film is Stitched. And can you tell us about the film? What is the film about? Um, the film is about how people who are part of the diaspora, who grow up across multiple places with fluid identities, what it means for us to find relationships and find, quote unquote, the idea of compatibility when you yourself are someone who is multiple people at once. And that's just part of who you are. Yeah. Wonderful. Where can um, we find you on social media? And can you please spell out all of the, the names? Um, I am, you can find most of my stuff on Instagram at p.mmoney. My last name is pronounced money, but so that makes it easier for everyone. Um, and can we tell you the film's Instagram? We're also at Stitched Film. Um, but if you want to find my personal, I'm just at Naomi Sedgwick, N-A-O-M-I-S-E-D-G-W-I-C-K. And I'm at Lorena MML, spelled L-O-R-E-N-A-M-M-L. Thank you, ladies. Tell us about, the one, the name of your film, and if you could give us a sentence about what your film is about. Oh, Lord. All right, um, so how to rig an election. Um, it is about the 1876 presidential debate and how that uh, further disenfranchised people because of its unfair outcome. Oh, wow, that was good. I did it. <laughs> you did a great job. You. <laughs> now, um, your involvement with the film, are you a writer? Are you an actor? So I'm the uh, art director uh, and animator, so I animated the uh, full the full piece. Um, but the, it's written by Jeffrey Robinson, narrated by Tom Hanks, and the directors are Emily and Sarah Kunstler. Wonderful. Where can we uh, find the film on social media and if you could spell it all out for us and where we can find you? Yeah, so I am at Reginald William and uh, at Our Creative Inc. And I have to mention the Who We Are, the Who we are Project.org. The film actually was um, optioned or bought by uh, the Washington Post. So you can go to Post Opinions online and find find our film. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hello, hooray for Hollywood. I'm Sandro Monetti, Master of Ceremony of this evening's event. <laughs> Now, have you been hosting? How many have you hosted in the in the past? Well, this is my second time, and uh, this year I'm co-hosting with Zoriana Kit. Uh, so I'll probably get a sharp poke in the ribs if any of my jokes are too bad. Wonderful. Um, can you tell us where we can find you on social media, and please spell it all out for us? Thank you. You can find me all over social media. I'm a one-man hype machine, quite frankly. It's at Sandro Manetti. You know, if you can spell the name you can find the gateway s-a-n-d-r-o-m-o-n-e-t-t-i on all platforms you know i'm all about uh, inspiring mentoring and showing the way thank you sandro thank you my name is zoriana kit and i am co-hosting the opening night ceremonies and the closing and i'm also a juror at holly shorts exciting yes. this is the 19th year yes, it how is. many years have you been hosting um so i've been involved with holly shorts maybe for the last four years so, yes. 
Wonderful. Is there any um, particular one particular takeaway that everyone should that you think everyone should get from this event tonight? The Holly Shorts Film Festival is a great place to discover new talent. Uh, the short film format are, is a format where also established people uh, dive into if they want to make their directorial debut. Where can we find you on social media and can you spell it all out for us? Yeah, I can be found on all platforms as Zoriana Kit. Z is in zebra, O-R-I-A-N-N-A-K-I-T is in Tom. Thank you so much, Zoriana. Thank you. Appreciate you. Tell us the name of the film and when is it showing? Dummy tonight. Uh, showing tonight. Tonight. Yeah. Tonight. Yes. Oh, 5:30. Uh, 7:30. 7:30. 7:30. We're 5:30. Mm -hmm. All care. night long. What's the film about? Oh, uh, it's a horror film, and it's about a very lonely man who has lost his wife and children, and just his uh, mental processing through it. Is that? Good? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, He's a CPR educator, and what happens is the dummies at work start showing up at his home, and the audience doesn't know if it's in his mind or if it's real. So that's the that's the thriller portion of it. Got it. Where can we find the film and you on social media? Yes. And spell it all out for us. Well, the Seattle Film Summit and Holly Shorts both have Instagrams and Facebooks, and there's links to the movie on there. Is yeah. there a website for dummy? Well, we don't really have a presence for it yet. We, we make this film in partnership with Holly Shorts. So this is the screenplay winner from last year. Then we award them the production in Washington. We shoot it in the calendar year and get the opening night screening. So so this is part of a whole grant project, a partnership with Holly Shorts and things like that. Wonderful. We're so excited to be here in this group. Yeah. Oh, exciting to hear about the film. Thank you so much. Uh, I've been coming here from the very beginning because I'm good friends with the, with the founders. We actually work together because uh, they represent me as well as in as managers and uh, NPR. And, and I think it's one of the best film festivals because, you know, it's for the new filmmakers that could potentially become the big deals down the line. And those guys can be extremely creative because they don't have that, that uh, commercial uh, aspect of creating their, their content. So, so yeah, I'm excited to see what, what new crops of, uh, of, of directors and writers and maybe some actors as well that we're going to meet this year. Yeah, just happy to be here. Wonderful. What is your favorite part of this film festival that you've been to before? This one, it's really trying to connect with 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 the new talents, you know, because sometimes you might see a short movie, you know, eight minutes, 15 minutes, but within eight or 15 minutes, you really see the vision of the people it's the writer or the director or sometimes even the DP so I try to connect with them at that level and usually they're quite surprised with someone like me here because you know it's like but it's because I get it I get I get you have to start from the very beginning you know so so I'm looking forward to, to just meet the new the new talents really Wonderful. Where can our audience find you on social media and can you spell it all out for us? I hope they'll find me in my movies and shows, but <laughs> but since 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 now it's a world of social media, yeah, just Jimmy Jean-Louis, they'll, they'll find me from all platforms, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all of them. Jimmy Jean-Louis, yeah. Thank you so much. He's Riquita. Hi, I'm the director of Fat Girl. Yeah. Okay, can you tell us, um, give us a little, like a... A sentence. What's the film about? Okay, so it's basically about a teenage girl's obsession with her favorite TikTok star and her kind of descent to become like her, and it leads her down a very dark path. Um, I'll, I'll not give too much away, but it involves, involves binge eating, DIY cosmetics, and yeah, a whole heap of trouble. Yeah. When is your film showing? We're showing Sunday night uh, as part of the thriller section, so watch out for us. We have got, I think we're part of the horror thriller. Yeah, contingent. What time on Sunday? At uh, 10 o'clock, so for the late, late starters. I don't know how, how late 
people hang out here, but 10 o'clock, yeah. Wonderful. Where can we follow you on social media in the film? Yeah, so we can have... you spell it all out? Yeah, I don't know, great. Uh, so we have an um, Instagram page, fatgirl underscore short film. You can see all our updates. We're actually playing across America currently. We're playing in Vermont later this month. We just did Texas and New York. We've got another New York screening coming, so um, hopefully you guys will be able to watch it. But yeah, Fat Girl short film and then also my personal Instagram. Thank you so much. Gosh, thank you. Lovely meeting you. Thank you. And I'm the writer, director of Monochromatic. Can you give us a sentence of what this film is about? It's about the inevitable moment that a six-year-old girl realizes she's black. Wow. When is your film showing? It's showing on um, Saturday, the 12th at 12 p.m. at the Chinese theaters. And I'm very excited about this. Sounds exciting. What was one, what is one takeaway that you want our audience to get from your film? That this isn't a film of yesteryear, that every black and brown child then and now is going to have a moment where they go, oh right, I'm black and my blackness might be a problem to the world, that the world operates still on bias. Thank you so much. And where can we find you and the film on social media? And please spell it all out. It's at monochromatic short film on Instagram. And it's Karen underscore Bryson on Instagram. Karen Bryson on Twitter. Um, Karen Bryson on LinkedIn. Karen Bryson everywhere. But if you get me, you'll get the film. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Moabudu, and I'm the director of My Wife, Iyawomi. That's a short film that is going to be screening here on Saturday. So I'm really excited about that yeah what is your film about my film deals with mental health challenges it's set in Lagos Nigeria it's about a young woman who finds herself having all kinds of hallucinations the husband comes home from work he's at his wits end as what do I do about this and um, not understanding what to do he takes some consequences into his own hands which do end rather sadly but I think the message there is that we really need to try and understand Understand what it is to be dealing with mental health challenges and what the solutions are um, which are the solutions that he took but he was dealing with it as best as he could with his little knowledge um, and that's that's basically the story yeah I don't want to give too much away yeah perfect where can we find you and your film on social media well you can find out about me on my um, Instagram handle at Moabudu the film isn't yet released. Um, I'm hoping that it will come out later this year. So we're still doing festival rounds, of which this is one of them. Absolutely. Thank you so much. What film are you representing tonight? So we have a really uh, amazing animated film I was lucky enough to be a part of called Mushka from Disney legend Andreas Deja. And uh, I can't wait to see it on the big screen. Pretty exciting. Can you give us a brief synopsis? What's this film about? <clears throat> it's about a girl. Uh, it's animated from like Disney legend 2D. It took them like seven or eight years to hand draw this, first of all. I gotta preface that. But it's about a girl who finds a tiger uh, in Siberia and tries to keep it as a cub. The tiger gets bigger and they kind of have to figure out what they gotta do with it after that. But it's, uh, it's a tearjerker, uh, just, just knowing it. I have seen pieces of it. It's a tearjerker, but I'm excited to see the, the full thing on the, the screens up here. When is it showing? Uh, it's showing on Monday the 14th. So if anybody catches this, come out the 14th and check out Mushka for sure. Do you know what time? Uh, I think noon. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm actually doing pretty well. You're I know doing excellent. Excellent. I know this information. But yeah, I believe it's noon on uh, Monday. Thank you so much. Where can we find you in, um, find you and the film on social media? Yeah, so I think it's Mushka Film, uh, but you can check me out. It's just at Tanner Beard, uh, but pretty boring Instagram. A lot of your sandwich self promotion as we do. Uh, but check us out. Our sister festival of Holly Shorts is a Mammoth Film Festival. So we're really excited about that. And uh, shout out to Theo and the crew for 19 years of Holly Shorts. Uh, nothing shy of amazing. So congratulations, guys. Happy to be here. Thank you, Tanner. Can you give us um, a brief synopsis of what this film is about? Well, it's, 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 we can't give, we can't, we can't, it's the sort of film where we can't tell you what it's about. But we can talk about the themes. Exactly. And the themes are hope, redemption, loss, and... Being connected in yes. this world, especially after COVID, you know, human connection and returning to that. So that's where the focus is. 
your movie showing? Well, it's it's opening the the, the, the Holly Shores Festival, and uh, we'll probably do. A, we'll see what happens with the festival campaign, and then it will be arriving uh, hopefully before Christmas on Netflix. So that's just good. Yes. Where can we find you on social media? And please spell it all out for us. Uh, well, I mean, I'm quite an old soul. I don't. I'm getting Instagram. I don't use Snapchat anymore. I use the main use WhatsApp and Facebook. So. I, I feel it's weird. I'm only 21, so I should really get with the times, but that's where I am at the moment. And for you? This is my name, Missan, M-I-S-A-N, Harriman, H-A-R-R-I-M-A-N. On all socials, you'll find me. We will look for you. Thank you so much. We can't wait to see the film. Uh, my name is Andrea Rosen, and I'm in a short film called Poof, as in Poof. Um, and I'm one of the two actors in it, and um, yeah, it's a really funny, crazy short film. When is it showing? Saturday at 7.30. Mm -hmm. And briefly, can you tell us, like, in one sentence, what's the film about? Uh, female friendship and um, just, like, kind of the craziness of being alive. Plus, I'm really ugly in it and, like, no, in a good way, in, like, a good, like, character-y way. Um, so it's just, like, about regular people being very dear friends, but also being insane. In like a normal way, not like, you know, like we all are. Of course. Where can we find you and the film on social media? And can you please spell it all out for us? I have no idea where you can find the film on social media. Um, you can find me at Andrea K. Rosen. At, that's my handle on Instagram. That's it. I don't know. Um, I'm here with the ladies. Uh, it's my first short film that I wrote and directed. Excellent. When is it showing? It's showing on Saturday in the comedy block. Do you know what time of the day? At 10 p.m. Wonderful. And can you give us like a brief sentence of what the film is about? Yeah, it's about a woman named Emma who's in her late 20s and she uh, moves into her grandma's senior living community and has an affair with her grandma's best friend. <laughs> yeah. Sounds scandalous. It, it really is. <laughs> Sounds like a fun movie. Um, can you tell us where we can find you and the film and follow the film on social media? Yeah, um, you can follow it at The Ladies Movie on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, and you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well, at Jill Gutowitz. And can you spell out your um, Instagram handle for us? Yeah, it's J-I-L-L-G-U-T-O-W-I-T-Z. Thank you so much. Hi, and I am here with... Grayson Dolan and Ethan Dolan. And you both have directed this film, and what is the name of the film? The film is called Nothing Left to Give. Can you give us a sentence of what is this film about? Um, an extraordinary bond shared between a young woman and a cow. And when is your film showing? Tomorrow at 2.30 in uh, Theater 6, I believe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, don't quote him on that theater, but 2.30, it's in the, uh, the family drama genre. Excellent. Where can we find you and the film on social media, and can you spell everything out for us? Um, we would love to be able to, to share the film with the world. We don't have uh, anything solidified and you know, where to do that yet. Um, we're, uh, we're exploring uh, turning this into a feature one day. That would be the goal. So, yeah. No social media to share, personal ones that we could follow you in any projects? Uh, yeah, just our names, Ethan, Ethan Dolan and Grayson Dolan. Yeah, it's Ethan Dolan and then he's Grayson, Grayson Dolan. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. The film is called Pickled Herring that I direct and star in and Marina Rose. Yes. Yeah. A brief sentence, what's this film about? You take this. <laughs> she did the other two. Um, it's a story about a, it's a funny Soviet tale about a father-daughter relationship. After the daughter is hit by a car, he moves in to help her, and we see those dynamics play out with the stress and humor of immigrant parents. I've never heard it described as a Soviet tale. <laughs> it's a Soviet tale. A uplifting <laughs> Soviet tale, the first Not. ever. You We're here to say like it's Baba Yaga. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's basically it. And it's, um, we're both from the Soviet Union. We came over on the same refugee visa, and Milana came to LA. I went to Chicago, so. But so, somehow our dads are exactly the same, and yeah. we love them and wanted to tell a story about them. Yeah. Wonderful. Where 
can we find you and the film on social media? Sure, I'm at Marina V. Schifrin, um, and we are promoting the film via our own social medias, and so Moana. Yes. And can you spell out your name for us, please? Oh, that's a very long name. It's M-A-R-I-N-A-V-S-H-I-F-R-I-N on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And my Instagram is Mint Milana, M-I-N-T-M-I-L-A-N-A. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can't wait to see the film. Your film. Uh, our film is called Isla Soledad. It's a Mexican short film. No. What? Uh, if you could give us one sentence about what the film is about, what that? What is that sentence? Uh, I will say. Um, the story about a young girl who's trying to get her life back on track in order to recover the custody of her son. Where, uh, so lastly, the showing, what's, when's the showing time? So we're going to have uh, showings on the 15th, uh, the August 15th, and we're very proud to bring it all, all the way to Mexico to the Chinese theater. Yeah. Excellent. Where can our audience find you on social media? And please spell it all out for us. Great. Uh, yeah, they can find us at uh, Isla Soledad. That's spelled I-S-L-A-S-O-L-E-D-A-D. -S -S -E or Soledad Island. And actually, we don't manage uh, that many from the production company. We're, right now, we're doing a lot of movement on the on the page for the film. So they can find us there. Or Camilo GTC Galvan in uh, Facebook and Instagram. Instagram and yeah, all of those. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, can you tell us um, briefly what um, is the best part of this film festival for you? Well, I just got here and so far the red carpet's amazing, but uh, I just feel like this might be the best organized, most beautiful festival in the city that I've been to and uh, I can't wait to see more. Tell us um, the name of your film again and where can we find your film, period. Uh, uh, well, it's not publicly released yet, but the name of the film is American Sick. It's a short animated documentary about a man with a turban and beard overcoming uh, hate and bias in post-9-11 America by dressing up as a superhero. Where can we find you on social media, and can you spell that out for us? Uh, you can find us at American Sick Film. So American Sick is S-I-K-H, film, F-I-L-M, on all platforms. Thank you so much. Thank you.